the, the best way to optimize the cost per unit mass to Mars and back um, is, is to use an all methane system, or, or technically deep cryo methalogs. So those are the four, the four elements that need to be achieved. So, this, so um, whatever, whatever uh, system is designed, uh, whether by SpaceX or, or, or anyone, we think these are the four features that need to be addressed in order for the system to, to really achieve a, a low cost per, a cost per ton to the surface of Mars. And this is a, this is a simulation of the overall system.
So what you saw there is, is really uh, quite close to what we will actually build. Um, it will look almost exactly what you saw, like what you saw. Um, so this is not, not, not an artist's impression. These, um, the, the simulation was actually made from the SpaceX engineering CAD models. So this is not, you know, it's not just, well, this is what it might look like. This is what we plan to try to make it look like. Um, so in, in the video, you, see, you, you got a sense for what the system architecture looks like. The, the rocket booster and the spaceship um, take off, loads the, the spaceship into orbit. The rocket booster then comes back. It comes back quite quickly, um, within about 20 minutes. Um, and so it, it can actually launch the, 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 the tanker version of the spacecraft, which is essentially the same as the, as the spaceship, uh, but filling up the, the um, unpressurized and pressurized cargo areas with propellant tanks. Uh, so they look almost identical. So this, this also helps lower the, the development cost, which obviously will not be small. Um, and, uh, and then the, the propellant tanker goes up, and it'll go, actually up, it'll go up multiple times, so anywhere from three to five times to fill the tanks of the, of the spaceship in orbit. Um, and then once the, the spaceship is, the tanks are full, the cargo has been transferred, and uh, we reach the Mars rendezvous timing, which uh, as mentioned is roughly every 26 months, that's when the ship would depart. Now, um, uh, over time there would be many spaceships. You'd ultimately have, I think, upwards of a thousand or more spaceships waiting in orbit. And so that the Mars colonial fleet would depart en masse. Um, they're kind of like Battlestar Galactica. We've seen that thing. That's a good, good show. Um, so it, a bit like that. Um, but it, it actually makes sense to, to load the spaceships into orbit um, because you've got two years to do so, and then make frequent use of the booster and the tanker to get, get really heavy reuse out of those. And then with the, with the spaceship, you get less reuse because you have to say, well, how long is it going to last? Well, maybe 30 years. So that might be 12 to maybe 15 uh, flights of the spaceship um, at most. Um, so you really want to maximize the cargo of the spaceship um, and, and, and reuse the booster and the, the, the tanker um, a, a lot. So the, the, the ship goes to Mars, gets, gets replenished, um, and then returns to Earth. 